<sighs> Good morning, YouTube. Uh, I've got some hardware in the mail I'm going to be reviewing today. I'm going for three videos. I'm going to be doing a review of Star Control when it launches on Steam here, about an, here in about an hour. I'm going to be reviewing the Razer Gunnar RPG glasses, and I'm going to be first reviewing the Razer Orb Weaver Chroma. I think elite, but that was too many words. I'm just going to call it the orb weaver. Um, so two very contrasting points about this device. Now, um, going to start with the device itself first. So we got these buttons, right? Sorry, this is mirrored here. And here, that uh, I'm not going to wiggle things around because I just got it perfect. But you can move the um, hand thing and then where your thumb goes, palm rest, that's what I was thinking of, around a lot more than their previous, uh, I guess, half keyboards like the uh, Nostromo, the old Orb Weaver, and the Tartarus. And I will also say, having used a Nostromo and a Tartarus before, this thing is so much more comfy. So, I, I guess to put it this way, so using the uh, Tartarus V2 is like, you know, that, that, that's like you come over to your friend's house and you're sitting on the corner of the couch, like in that area that where you have like one side of the armrest. And it's like, I'm kind of comfy, but, like, if I wanted to lay down, it'd be kind of weird. And when I'm getting tired, I just, I'm not quite sure which way to lay. But this thing is just like having your own king-size mattress. This thing is just comfy. Uh, the uh, palm rest and the, uh, well, I guess the other part of the palm rest is kind of in two pieces on this. Uh, the, the rubber's a lot softer, or I don't know if it's rubber or silicon or whatever. I'm not really a hardware expert. Uh, the, it's a lot more kind of squishy and comfy, and the thing just feels good. Also, I like that the space bar, it isn't actually a full key. It's just kind of this little lever that you can go up, up and down with. I hope that didn't mess up my video. Um... But I like that because if you're, you know, playing like Quake or some game where you end up jumping a lot, you can just be like instead of, you know, having to put your full thumb weight into it every time. You can just kind of lightly tap it and still get the same responsiveness. That's super awesome. Now, um, let's get to how awful the software is in comparison so let me switch this up here okay so I have everything razor except for my mouse because I'm sorry the Logitech G600 is just too good and so here we are in Razer Synapse 3.0 I think whatever the latest one is the one that's been in beta for like for like I think more than a year despite all their hardware using it apparently except this thing so we have this nice little chroma display where you know it shows my keyboard and my mouse pad and then you have this nice representation of the colors going across them uh, I sadly don't have a uh, second webcam that I can angle to show you my desk right now and also there'd be a big ugly microphone in the middle of it but this is pretty accurate as far as how the colors look. But this software does not recognize my brand new Razer Orb Weaver that I paid, frankly, too much for. That I just installed in late September 2018. So here I am running the ancient old Razer Synapse that I was using for the Nost for the like six year old Nostromo that this just replaced and 
Okay, so one, not only is it completely incapable of syncing RGB with my other Razer devices, but these colors are hideous. Oh my god, they are disgusting. This this looks like it's kind of crazy because the hardware itself looks super slick, super high end, but then the RGB looks like absolute made in China crap. And it just really irks me because this is so comfy that there's no way I'm returning this. There's no way I'm not using it, but I'm just going to have to deal with the ugly every time I do. So, uh, I guess getting into detail, um, again, there's not really a nice way for me to show you, but on the keyboard, the you, you see how these color transitions are a lot more blended and continuous? They are not whatsoever on here. We're jumping like an entire color across the wheel with each key just kind of going through it statically. Like there's no transition or blending between colors whatsoever. And that's part of the ugly. But the other thing is that it's just hideous color choices. Because, uh, you know, I'm not a fancy guy, really. Like I'm not going to take the time to make you know, crazy, awesome, custom RGB profiles. I just want the default rainbow to look good. It's not a lot to ask. Like, I just like to use the wave out of the presets. Um, I like spectrum cycling, but it's kind of slow. And this, this whole software mess just has me thinking, you know, if this isn't going to sync anyway, there's better individual pieces of hardware I would rather be using and I, I guess all I can really do at this point is just really really hope that Razer gets it together and makes this work with the rest of the Chroma software in a reasonable fashion so that I can have my sync back and enjoy life again <laughs> so I guess to uh, sum all this up I give this like an 11 out of 10 on hardware and then a 0 out of 10 on software because I'm sorry, having to run two different copies of Razer Synapse just to be able to put macros on a device that I bought after all the other stuff that's running on the new one and then it not even RGB syncing to boot is just insulting. And so, uh, there you have it. I will probably see you shortly as I'm just going to record these videos back to back. See ya.